What's up guys, welcome to your 27th Android tutorial for my bring back. What we're going to do in this tutorial, like I promised, uh, we're going to draw our bitmap and animate it to our canvas. So first we need to set up our bitmap, you know, allow our, our class to uh, refer to the bitmap so we can draw it. So we're just going to set up a bitmap object, call it bball. And you guys also want to throw in your drawable folder some kind of a PNG or some kind of an image. I called mine blue ball. It's just a small blue ball, 75 pixels by 75 pixels. Um, so make sure you do that. And then what we're going to do is again, we're just going to add our import. And within our constructor, we're going to set up our our bitmap. So our bitmap was called blue ball. We're just going to say uh, bitmap factory um, dot decode resources or resource, I should say. And as you can see, it takes a resource and an ID. The resource, we're just going to say get resources. And for our ID, uh, the specific resource that we want to draw or create as our bitmap. So we're just going to say r.drawable.blueball. So there we go. Uh, we've worked with, with bitmaps before, but uh, we did a little bit different with the input stream which we probably should have done anyways, but we're just going to set it up as a decoding and resource and uh, use that method to set up our bitmap. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the bitmap to the screen and animate it. How we're going to animate it is we're going to change where it is in the X position and where it is in the Y position. But what we need to do is we need to set up basically an int value that's going to be our X position and an int value that's going to be our Y position. So we're going to set this equal to be int X and int Y. And again, within our constructor, uh, because this is going to get called right when we created it in our tutorial for class, it's going to call that constructor first. So we're just going to set up our x and y values to be 0 at the beginning. So there we go. And now we're just going to change these positions each time it calls this draw method. And it's going to call this draw method over and over and over and over. Um, so each time we want to add a different value to the x and to the y. So we're just going to go down below where we drew our rectangle and we're just going to say x is equal to or x is plus equal to uh, 10 something like that and y is plus equal to 10 as well. I think we've done something like this. All it's saying is adding 10 each time this on draw method gets called. So it starts at 0, 0 which will be the top left and then it's just going to uh, you know, at our x and our y position, so it's going to go in a diagonal line down because again, top left of the corner starts at zero zero, and then it goes on like that. But the problem is uh, what, that we're going to have is our bitmap is going to go off the screen and just keep going all that good stuff. So we need a way to restart our x value at zero or y value at zero as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, we're going to create some if statements for each of our x and for a y value. So we're just going to say if x is less than our canvas size because again we got that canvas and we're just going to say get uh, width. So if it's less than the width we're going to add 10 to x. Else we're going to restart x because if it's greater than the canvas width we want to restart it. So we can just say x is equal to 0. And we're just going to basically do the same thing for a y value. So I'm just going to actually just type it out. If y is less than our canvas dot get height, then we're going to add 10 to our y value. Else, we're going to set y equal to 0. Now all we have to do is we have to draw our bitmap to the canvas. So again, all we're just going to do is we're going to say canvas dot draw bitmap and we have a few different options that we can go for the one that we're gonna do is we're gonna relate to this top left um, or bitmap left and top and then our paint as well so we need to refer to our bitmap which we set up in our constructor called bball we need to set up our left value that's gonna handle left and right so that's gonna be our x value our top and bottom is gonna be our y value in our paint, we don't have a paint for our bitmap, so we're just going to say new paint. Or, you know, uh, you guys can create a paint variable right here. Paint 
p set this equal to new paint and we could just relate to our paint object there as well uh, pretty much the same thing but now let's run our application see how it works so we're just going to go to our fourth tutorial so it looks like it's being painted up here the problem is is it's obviously not animated and you guys are probably like what's going on why we set up all those x and y values the reason that's happening is because um, even though I said this method gets called over and over and over um, we have to tell it to call itself over and over and over because the first time it gets called it reads through everything it's like hey man uh, looks like I'm done here but if we add one line of code down here called invalidate that's gonna make it loop through again because it didn't find the solution it didn't accomplish its task so our on draw method he you know he's been painting and painting he's like oh x and y values I gotta paint those in uh, what's going on gotta paint all this stuff and then he gets done at least he thinks he does and we're like no no um, I don't like that restart go again he's like alright alright gotta draw a rectangle gotta gotta do my x and my y values um, gotta draw this bitmap um, how's that and we're like nope again 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 and that's just basically the concept so it's gonna loop through this on draw method over and over so now when we run it a second time hopefully our ball will be animated so we're gonna go to button 4 as you can see um, it's it's going crazy here um, hopefully you guys kinda understand everything that's going on again we have a specific X value and a Y value so if our ball hits over here it's gonna be like hey my X value is greater than the width of the canvas so I'm gonna just set my X value back over to here and start here as well and then it's gonna go down and if it hits the bottom it's like hey my Y value is bigger than my canvas um, height so I'm gonna start back up here and then just go down and down so hopefully you guys understand that just kinda of play around with some of these values get it to look the way that you want and thanks again for watching guys catch you in the next tutorial peace